Hi, I'm Dr. Jennifer Hoover with Goldsboro Pediatrics, and today I'll be reading Nugget and Fang, Friends Forever or Snack Time, authored by Tammy Sauer and Michael Slack. Nugget and Fang. In the deep, deep ocean lived two best friends, Nugget and Fang. They did everything together. They swam over, glug. They swam under, glug, glug. They swam all around, glug, glug, glug. Life was close to perfect. Until it was time for Nugget to go to school. Many minnows, welcome to a brand new year. On Monday, Nugget was busy with reading. Today's story is about three little minnows and a big bad shark. A big bag, big bag shark? Ha, said Nugget, impossible. Nugget was busy with math. One plus one equals two, two plus two equals four. But what if there were 10 minnows and a shark came along and ate four of them? How many minnows are left? Is this a trick question? A shark would never do that, said Nugget. And Nugget was busy with science. Sharks are scary, here's the proof. Marine food chain, sharks, and everyone else. The stuff on that poster isn't true, said Nugget. My best friend is a shark. Have you lost your gills? Sharks and minnows can't be friends. Hello, sharks eat minnows. Nugget was shocked and apparently delicious. That afternoon, Nugget explained it all to Fang. Sharks are toothy, sharks are scary, and sharks and minnows can't be friends. Sounds fishy to me, said Fang. It's true, see, said Nugget. He held up his test, then he swam far, far away. Fang's heart sank. There was nothing he could do about being toothy, but he needed his best buddy back. He had to prove he wasn't scary. On Tuesday, many minnows had a surprise visitor, a very big surprise visitor. The visitor gave Nugget his friendliest smile. Shark, swim for your lives. Oh my algae, said Nugget, it's Fang. On Wednesday, Fang tried a different approach. Dear Nugget, I'd love to have you over for dinner, sincerely Fang. He wants to eat you for dinner. Holy mackerel, said Nugget. On Thursday, Fang tried everything he could think of. A tattoo? a special delivery, a song and dance, but nothing worked. On Friday, Fang was out of ideas. All alone, he swam over, blub. He swam under, blub, blub. He swam all around, blub, blub, plunk. Life was not even close to perfect. Fang was so busy boo-hooing, he didn't even notice a net drop. Down, 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 right on the many minnows. Oh no, I feel seasick. We're the catch of the day. The net pulled up, up, up. Somebody help! Fang squinted. Nugget? He had to do something, but what? Fang fanned his gills. He wrung his fins, and then, ping! Fang had a plan. Fang's big sharp teeth chomped. Fang's big sharp teeth chewed. Fang saved the many minnows. All the minnows stared. I know, I know, said Fang. I'm toothy, too scary, too shark. Nugget swam towards Fang. There were 10 minnows, he said, and a very, very special shark came along. How many friends are there all together? There was only one answer. In the deep, deep ocean lived 11 friends. They swam over, glug, they swam under, glug, glug, and they swam all around, glug, glug, glug. And everyone was all smiles, especially you know who. Nugget and Fang.